which is uh crazy me thinking like that but like i said i think it's just mother my motherly instinct i don't know but um yeah so we're not getting four day ultrasound um childbirthing classes we were supposed to take those on the third which was last thursday um, but we didn't hubby really didn't want to take those classes because like i said he has three kids already but it's not really for him childbirth it's not like it's parenting classes you know because i mean i can see that but it's childbirthing classes like pretty much for me and i just want to well he was going to go it's mainly for me you know he was going to go anyway because you know to support me and everything we ended up not going because we were we was moving and everything and plus i was like really upset that day when i found out we had to actually focus on moving everything out and you see we didn't move into like i think monday or sunday night yeah that was what thursday we didn't even move in that day i was like really upset that i missed my class and everything i um eventually got over it because a lot of people in my that i live i mean i'll not live with but a lot of my friends and people that i know that have took those classes or was getting ready to take those classes said i don't necessarily need that class um well the classes here in my hometown they aren't as informative as you think like no maybe normally so they tell me not to worry about it because i probably like i could have attended all those classes and could have went to work instead and it, it won't mean i mean it won't really help me out or anything once i'm actually there giving birth but I actually want to find out for myself. I mean, the classes are free. Um, my insurance pays for it. So, I mean, I want to go just, you know, this is my only pregnancy. Oh, I won't say my own. I'm not trying to predict the future. I hope this is my last pregnancy. But this is my first pregnancy. And I wanted to do, like, pretty much everything. But, like I said, some things I can't do because of money and things like that. But I um, want to do this. And find out for myself how less informative or whatever it is but i decided just not to worry about it you know um my baby shower is coming up soon um i was thinking about cancel or i was going to well i actually did cancel it and like as soon as i cancel it because i had like this invitation i do have invitations like out that i send everywhere like in the mail and stuff but i also have a facebook invitation that i sent to my family and friends and as soon as I freaking took the invitation off and told everyone that had already accepted my invitation, as soon as I told everyone that I wasn't having it anymore, it's like my mom got, like she called me, what was she doing? I think she called me. And she was like, you know, asked me like, why was I canceling it and everything. And so it ended up, we got it back on. It's so, it's still November 12th and everything. She's, I told her I canceled it because, as you can see, we're in our new home. I told her that I was putting all my money towards getting in the house. So, I didn't really want to have my baby shower right now. I was going to actually wait until after he was born or have it in January, like early January. Hoping I don't have him before then. But, I was going to actually have it in January. Yeah, because hubby, hubby wanted it before he was born too. So, I was going to have it in early January. But she wanted me to go ahead and have it now. So she is, because we're having it and we're renting this building. Well, I was renting this building and, um, yeah, my mom was paying for it and everything. And so it's still on. Um, so that's good. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm not as excited as I thought I'd be. <laughs> thought I'd be more excited. Um, but I'm not. I mean, I'm excited, you know, but it's not like. I feel like, I don't know, I mean, I'm excited about it, you know, but it's like, it's not as excited, as exciting if someone else was throwing me the baby shirt, and all I gotta do is worry about an outfit, which I will show you guys my outfit. So, this is nothing special, I'm not actually dressing up or anything, but so far, which is pretty much it this is my baby shirt uh outfit this is my shirt 
that's my pin. Like the main thing you see in my baby shirt is like a footprint. Like I have this balloon that's like a footprint. Um, like one of the main centerpieces other than the diaper cake. Um, the balloon, like the biggest balloon I have is a freaking foot. <laughs> a footprint type thing. I just have some little jeans. Um, I have no idea. I have these pants for a long time because I was like small for a very long long time so mud jeans and just a mix echo or something like that some kind of shirt i got from a dollar store i think i got it from like family dollar or something i got this from dollar tree the dollar tree i don't know if it's like everywhere but like i went to a couple of other cities around my hometown and they also have the same baby shower stuff it's so like Main, main, mo mainly most of my baby shower stuff has came from that Dollar Tree, as you guys will see. So yeah, this is my outfit for now. I mean, that's what I plan on wearing. But I did want to wear like a blue shirt. But then again, you won't be able to see my blue pin because my blue pin actually sticks out that way. I may, I'm going to uh, probably buy some blue earrings and still have to do my hair because this hair has got to get out. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to wear my hair. I may wear my hair natural. I'm not sure. Um, I actually want my hair back the way it is. Like this. Or, um, something similar. I'm not sure. I'm trying not to spend too much more on this baby shirt. Because I already spent about over 50 bucks on this baby shirt. But thank God my decorations are done. All I have to do, that's all I have to worry about is um, getting forks and spoons, or not silverware, but plasticware, that's what you call it. I'm going to still get my cake, um, and a few little things here and there. I still, I mean, my main thing now buying is food. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much all this week. I'm not sure. Well, my hours got cut back at work, <laughs> um, which I don't really like that, but, I mean, it, I kind of do need it because I do like the time away from work, but I also want to work to make me you know, more money. But they call me in to work tomorrow, which is cool because only, it's only four hours. <laughs> and plus I have Friday and Saturday off. Saturday is the baby shirt. Um, I guess I'll show you guys my belly and see you guys for week 29. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Let's see what I got. This is the side view. I was like kicking right now too. It's the front. I'll show you guys the back. Maybe you guys can't. Can you tell I'm pregnant from the back? It's the front. The shirt up. The line just gets darker and darker. Yes. This is the side. Not sure what I was as usual. A little over 39 inches. If you guys can see that. Okay, so I'll see you guys for week 29.